Uh, this is a question on a lot of, a lot of Niner fans' minds for good reason. Jalen Hurd was a third round pick, high third round pick. Does Hurd win the wider three? Does Jalen Hurd win the wider three? Oh my God! Does Jalen Hurd three win the wide receiver three spot if he is healthy and lives up to expectations this year? It took me three tries, but I got it. What do you think? I think the answer is yes. If he's healthy and lives up to expectations, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say no. If he's healthy and lives up to expectations, he still Jaylen can't Hurd. get it. What kind of athlete will he be when he is healthy? We're talking about a guy recovering from a back and an ACL. And we're talking about not just a back injury, a back injury that they told us he would be back in three to four weeks and then find out seven months later the guy can't even take a plane to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that almost sounds like a D4 back injury. Like, yeah, uh, we're just going to wait for about three, four years and see what happens. <laughs> like, in yeah. terms of, like, obviously, in terms of a fully healthy Jalen Hurd coming out of college would be a receipt, would be 100% of receiver three in this offense. It would be an unbelievably good receiver three. But I don't know if that's what we're getting here. And I really like Jalen Hurd. I like the his like mental makeup. I like the way he like speaks. Yeah. I like I like his ability. Like his yeah, player. Yeah, Jalen Hurd is enticing. Yeah, but I, I don't know if this is the, that idea of Jalen Hurd still exists. Well, I mean, look, they don't need him to be a short yardage running back anymore. <laughs> they don't need him to be a starting wide receiver. They're like in a position kind of with D Ford where look, we're committed to you for another another two years. Basically, we lost half of your rookie deal, but we got two more. And if you can give us a hundred snaps, we'll take it. <laughs> what, what are we going to do? So uh, I don't know if he'll ever be any good, but it does seem like maybe you could read into the fact that they didn't draft a wide receiver as an indication that they're hopeful that he can give them something. Because look, if it ain't Jalen Hurd, it's not Richie James. I mean, I, we like Richie James. They don't seem to really think much. Richie James is a perfect receiver for a receiver five. I yes. still think Benjamin's got something. I think Benjamin adds something to this offense that we haven't talked about. I think that when they signed Travis Benjamin, they signed him as a guy that they expected to make this team. And I think he will make this team this year. Maybe I'm totally wrong. And he gets no, I think you're right. I think season, you're right. To me, see, to me, he's like such a clear Taylor Gabriel replacement. I mean, right. Watch what Gabriel did with the Falcons in 2016. And yeah, we're on the same and, team together. And, uh, and, Right on the Browns with with Browns with and the other there. thing, yeah. yeah, with Andrew Hawkins too. So That's like right. three guys of the similar right. types. But right. um, the other thing I think is that they're also like I think they're realizing the fact that we are going to be a twenty-one personnel offense. We're not going to be an eleven personnel offense. So let's we have a lot of guys in the room who have the ability to be the number three receiver. I mean, Jalen Hurd, Kevin White, um, Travis Benjamin, uh, Mohamed Richie Sanu. James. Mohamed River Sanu, Craycraft. Sure. You, River Craycraft, Juwan Jennings, yeah. throw them all in there. Austin Watkins, throw them all in there. Hopefully one of these guys will set up, will step up because we just need them 25 to 30% of the time anyway. But I think the big problem with that, and we're going to probably touch on this later, is the fact what they're relying on to not happen if they're doing that. 